before Pamela comes, let me just uh, go through a few things that uh, I want to use to at least bring some of these issues to conclusion. I think part of the frontier, as we see in mining, is to make sure that we apply intelligence system solution to every facet of what we do, whether it is surface or underground mining, and making sure that we improve safety efficiency and all the bottom lines that we deem as important KPIs. One of the, one of the books that I read which really spoke about innovation to me was Louis Geschner's Who Says Elephants you know, Can't Dance. IBM was losing about $16 billion a year in the 1993, that area. And basically, IBM was looking for a CEO that would turn the company around. They adopted a global search and couldn't find somebody that they felt, you know, could. And then they landed on this man, but he was the CEO for our RJL Nabisco, which was cookie chips. And he told them that he was very knowledgeable on cookie chips, not computer chips. And so he couldn't take the job. Three times they came to him and using some presidential arm twisting, they got him, you know, to be the CEO of IBM. I would encourage all of you, if you haven't read it, take a look and, and read what this guy did to turn IBM around into an 80 billion you know, revenue, revenues a year company. Again, another book that I would suggest is from Good to Great by Jim Collins, analyzing how industries, he grouped them into uh, industries that chose to change through innovations, you know, survived and, and became strong, and um, those that didn't sort of uh, died. And then one of the best movies that I, that I ever watched was the, the Dream is Alive in Kennedy Space Center, talking about the US space program. And uh, it's so exciting that these guys, when they got to the place where they were supposed to land, there was a huge crater they couldn't land, and they had 90 seconds of fuel to, to land. Very, very incredible feat. Let's take, for instance, you know, the, the work that Caterpillar and Komatsu and other companies have done with respect to uh, automating a haul truck. Multimodal sensor suite for tracking multiple entities. Some of the issues that we have to contend with will have to do with cyber security. Can you imagine somebody hacking into the system and programming this machine with all the momentum, the velocity momentum associated with it, heading toward the wrong direction. There are so many challenges that we have that we need to articulate. We're going to contend with data and information cloud system, how to transfer data, how to create knowledge through fusion, and how to use it to control the entities that we are interested in. The problem, the internet of things, data mining, and all the interactions that will go on with all the entities that we have, so far as the, the company is concerned, leading into automated systems. At Missouri s and we have begun to look into the future as to how we could become part of the solution by combining mining engineering, computer science, electrical engineering, and computer engineering into a formidable force in order to articulate some of the solutions that are necessary. The challenge, the great challenge, is would we be able to tame the wild bull into a ram, and in so doing, use the derivative energy to power the industry into the next frontier? And that is the challenge that I leave with all of us. There are so many hidden energy associated with what we are trying to achieve. And if we are able to extract that energy, 
and use it, we can power the industry. That means we have to kill fear. We cannot do it alone. We have to collaborate, as we have heard over and over again. And I think that um, the industry is on to bigger things. And I'm excited about this forum, and I hope you are too. And as we look into the future, I think that greater things are on the horizon. With that, I would invite Pamela to come and conclude. Hey, Samuel, fantastic ending. I think you've actually, actually wrapped up pretty damn well. <laughs>